What's happening guys, welcome back. Um, day 10, I think. I'm getting so confused now. Yeah, it is day 10, yeah, yeah, so day 10 today. This morning I had a bit of a different breakfast. I had some avocado on toast. I was gonna record it, but I didn't. I'll show you tomorrow though, because I'm gonna have the same again. The porridge and the eggs every single day. It's getting a bit tedious, so I wanted to mix it up a bit. And the wife made it, and all I can say is, amazing, alhamdulillah, so. That was breakfast this morning. I've just had a call from school. This is the life of a parent. My son's fallen over, the older one. So I need to go and pick him up now from school and take him over to a and &E. I'm gonna have to log off a bit early from work. Yeah, <laughs> he's probably fine, inshallah. Uh, but we need to just go and make sure he is. So I'm gonna take him to a and &E, make sure his back's all right. Yeah, this is probably turned my afternoon upside down, but this is the life of a parent. So uh, let's go and see how he is. Hopefully he's all right. But yeah, let's take him to a and &E. So what was I talking about yesterday? I was saying yesterday that you shouldn't leave at three o'clock because of traffic. And I've left at four o'clock today and there is just as much traffic. So it looks like the ideal time to go to the gym is actually two o'clock because this is four o'clock now and I'm stuck in this traffic that I did not want to get stuck in yesterday. But anyway, we're here. In terms of my son, uh, so yeah, he's home from school but his back wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So school obviously send kids home for every little thing just because they have to protect themselves. But um, he's absolutely fine, uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah, he had a bit of a fall on his back the other day and he had another fall today which made it worse. So he's hurt, he's hurt his coccyx bone. So that's the reason why he's now home. He just needs to rest it and sit on a hot water bottle basically. So kids will be kids though, eh? We will be in there. Um, on the way to the gym now, as I just said, the aim of today's gym session is to do cardio again. I am thinking of to do a little bit of weights. So what I've done, so basically my, the reason why I'm gonna tell you this bit of my story is I've got two legs. I've got one from my private uh, practice, which down to everyone who potentially watches and people who don't watch have contributed to my GoFundMe page. I was trying to raise a hundred pound, a hundred thousand pounds for a new arm. Uh, but that looked like it's a little bit unachievable. So I had about £18,000 saved, um, spent a bit towards getting bits and bobs for my house for my new disability, and then used £15,000 towards a new leg. So I've got that leg, and then I've also got a NHS leg. Now the NHS leg, they recently made better uh, by putting a hydraulic part in the foot, which you'll probably see in a video in a second. Um, so I haven't been wearing the hydraulic one, purely because obviously I paid a lot for the private one and the private one I've got to get used to and I have got used to it but then I'm not getting used to the hydraulic one so I thought let me try the hydraulic one today let me see what different movements I may be able to do in the gym so I did try to get back on the bike the other day in the gym and that flopped like my private leg is not comfortable comfortable enough yet so the private leg is actually still in tester stages. It's not 100% comfortable. So I tried to cycle the other day and I couldn't. Getting a bit bored of doing these circuits now uh, and not doing no weights. So I thought, let me try this hydraulic leg on. The reason I'm telling you this long-winded story is because I may try to cycle again or I might try to go in and try to do uh, a little bit of rowing or something different, maybe some walking or something different, I don't know. We'll decide, anyway, listen, on the way to the gym, uh, we'll be there in probably about five ten minutes or so get there bang out a quick workout get back by five half five Read us and have a shower. We'll have a shower read us and it'll be a starry time by that So um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in the gym. Right. I'm back above the stand speaker again as well I did try to get back on the bike I went down and tried to get back on the bike but the back of this leg is still not comfortable man So even the NHS one isn't comfortable. There's a lot more movement from this <laughs> It's basically this one's a hydraulic foot, the other one's a running foot. So this one's got a lot more movement back and forth, but just the movement behind my knee is still limited. So when I try to cycle, it hurts as the leg comes up. So um, I need to get that sorted at some point. I'll make that a key point going forward in my next appointment. But anyway, stories are going to be stories. So we're going to crack on, incorporate some random stuff into a circuit again, half an hour and get home, have a shower. And uh, us there is already dead. Four, four, that's there's already started half four now. So hopefully by five we get out of here, quarter past five and uh, get home. So right, let's get this.
I'll tell you what, love. That movement, getting up, looks really different in this leg, man. There's a bit more stiff in the other one. That's going to be the final exercise shoulders, legs, as always. So, uh, guys, I'm going to smash out your five. Smash out these five exercises and uh, I'll catch up with you at home after I've started. I'm going to do a bit of a exciting for my legs. I'll show you the ins and outs of my legs because uh, I've been talking about the legs today. So, so right, I'll show you. So when I get home later, I'll show you my legs. But four more rounds to go, guys. Let me finish this off. Four rounds, day nine. It's going well. A bit more energy today, actually. Surprisingly, been more than yesterday. But I've still got a slight cough and a slight, uh, like, sneeze. I sneeze every so often, but I think that's the immune system clearing itself. But yeah, guys, so I'll catch up with you at home. If Dali done, no day done, food was good. It was chicken, tenderly chicken with some salad, a little bit of rice, uh, and a couple of pastries as always. So as promised, I thought I'd do a quick video or summarize this video in this video just to show you my different legs as I promised you in the gym. Let me start with the one I was wearing today. So the NHS leg, the way this leg works, this is what is the problem. The way it works is this is the cast. This is my second cast. As you can see, it's all just still a bit sweaty from the gym. So this is the second cast. Now, my leg, my stump, I have to put on three socks now. So three of these thick socks. These three th thick socks then go into this thing. And then this thing goes into the leg itself, which is here, right? So then it goes into this. It all sits nicely and I roll up this sleeve, as you saw in the video earlier. And um, just the trainer's wearing, obviously, earlier. And off you go. So this is a hydraulic leg. Uh, if I quickly put this in there, I'll show you what I mean. This goes in there. Put my legs in there. I'll quickly show you. Once it's in there, that's how it looks like. So the legs in there, and that's the hydraulic leg. So this leg's great. The only problem is because you're wearing the socks, and as you just saw, this gets really sweaty. Once I've done gym, my leg almost like comes out and in, out and in, because it's become slippery, right? So it's not like staying where it should be, like fit. So that's why I then purposely went for a private leg because my private leg is a little bit different. So I'm going to actually take this leg off while I'm on the camera. So you can hear that, hear that hissing? That's the valve. So it's vacuumed. So this is my private leg. This isn't the final thing. Um, you can see it's a bit more fancy at the bottom. So that's the carbon fiber bit at the bottom, the L shape. It helps. This is maybe a running leg. Uh, the reason for all of this is because this is still a tester leg. This isn't the final leg. Uh, this is probably my third tester leg. So until the, this leg is perfect in terms of comfort, they're not gonna make my final leg. The way this is different is that hissing you've heard is this valve here. So this, is, this allows air to come out when I'm taking the leg off. And the way it goes on is I have a silicon sock which is still on my leg right now, my stump. So that is a silicon sock. So this just gets lubed. The inside of that gets lubed and it goes straight on. Simple as, no socks, no fat, and also when I'm sweating, it doesn't come in and out, in and out, in and out. So, that's the difference between two legs. The other problem with it though is, the difference, the NHS one, is hydraulic. So, let me quickly uh, put you on the floor, give me two seconds. Mind, uh, mind the fridge in the background. So look, this is the, uh, this is the NHS leg. You see that movement? It's a lot, it's a lot of movement in that, right? It's hydraulic, this, that's hydraulic. This one isn't, this one's a little bit more stiff. A lot more stiff, but this is better for running. I don't know when I'm going to be running. So listen, I thought I'd give you a quick overview of the legs. I'll probably do a, a full video later on in the future uh, to give you a bit more of the ins and outs of how it's going and all the rest of it. But um, yeah, that's another day. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. And I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Inshallah. Jumma tomorrow. Let's go.